I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. Hey guys, Tony here, making the meteor sword from The Last Airbender. From the show, not the movie. Because it's called a meteor sword, I had to make it using meteorite. I have uh, meteorites from Australia, from Namibia, from the Gibeon meteorite strike. And I had a huge chunk of the uh, Campo de Cielo meteorite from Argentina. The chunk I had probably weighed 20 pounds, and you figure there's 454 grams to a pound. And uh, that meteorite was worth about a buck a gram. I haven't really had much luck in forging meteorites, so I'm really kind of rolling the dice and hoping it comes out well. This is truly sky metal. It's a iron nickel alloy. There are some stony elements in there. We burned up about uh, $300 in bandsaw blades slicing it up. $1,652 worth of meteorite to put into this blade. I'm going to incorporate seven slices of meteorite, 14 pieces of 15 and 20 bandsaw blades, and eight pieces of 1075 spring steel. Laminate those together to have 29 layers. I'll forge that out to a, a solid homogeneous ingot or billet and then fold it twice to become 87 layers. And I'll do it again after that's uh, forged well together to become a, a total laminate count of 261 layers. I started forging the billet of Damascus. I prefer working with Gibeon Meteor, which comes out of Namibia, Africa. This material is a little bit more prone to fracturing. It started cracking and crumbling in there, so I wanted to add some more steel to mix to make it work. I've just folded the 29 layers on themselves with a piece of 3 16th 1075 steel in the middle. And then I'm going to laminate two pieces of 3 16th 1075 on the outside which is going to add a higher alloy steel to the uh, iron meteorite, which uh, is causing the billet to crumble a little bit. That uh, gave my initial layer count uh, from 29 layers to 32 layers, and then I folded that three times to come up with 96 layers. Folded that again and again afterwards, so we're now at 384 layers. It is holding together, it is forge welding, and uh, we'll make it into a sword blade soon. When I'm forge welding steel into the power hammer, each time that uh, the dies come down on the hammer, it smacks it and shoots sparks everywhere. I had some paper stored underneath the stomp shear, which is near my forge, uh, and I didn't realize there was paper underneath there, so as I was forge welding, uh, a spark got on there and ignited the paper. Still on fire! I was telling Brian, it's if it's just a paper fire, go in there and stomp it out. He used the fire extinguisher and smoked us out of the shop, so it's always exciting. I forged the blade out to the shape. We cut the tang. I'm going to weld on a mild steel tang just to thread onto the end of it. I started sanding it down, polishing it up a little bit and uh, put it in the ferric chloride to etch it and bring out the pattern on it. It's a beautiful pattern. I've thermal cycled it. I've run it through the heat treating furnace three times, just uh, stress relieving everything. That will go into the, uh, the oven again, be brought up to the critical temperature of 15, 1600 degrees, and then uh, quenched in oil and then tempered. I've also forged the bronze ingot to make the hilt and pommel. Brian has taken that to the mill, milled the slot in the hilt, and also turned the pommel on the lathe and drilled and tapped that. Alicia will be piercing out some lotus flowers and brass and we'll solder those on top of them. So we'll have the two-tone effect of the gold brass and more reddish bronze uh, underneath for the hilt and pommel. And then the grip will be covered with brown leather and then put a, a lighter brown leather wrap over the top and a crisscross pattern. And then we did uh, brass bezels going around the top and bottom to hold everything together.
this is right up there with one of my favorite pieces. I, I really like it. It's a simpler design sword except for the details I'm putting into it. I like the technical aspect of forging the blade to this many layers and using actual meteorite. That made it really, really cool. Thanks for watching. Socket it to the subscribe button. In case you're new here, this wasn't the first animated sword I've made. Why not go check out Finn's golden sword in the armory below? And leave a comment below for the cartoon sword I should create next.